first milestone in tier 4 unlocked steel production and this video will be showing steel ingots, steel beams and steel pipes automation. Steel ingots require 3 iron ore from an iron ore node and 3 coal in order to make 1 steel ingot. With 3 ingots you can craft a steel beam and one steel ingot to craft a steel pipe. You will need to craft industrial encased beams in order to build the foundry. These require four steel beams and five concrete. These can all be manually crafted in the craft bench. The automating of steel ingots requires inputs of coal and iron ore that feed into a foundry. A foundry is similar to a smelter and it requires 5 encased industrial beams, 15 steel pipes and 20 concrete to build. Once you have selected the foundry, Connect the iron ore and coal inputs. Then apply power and select the steel ingot recipe in the foundry. You can then send the steel ingots into storage or another machine. A tip for when you need to gather a bunch of resources that are not being stored is to delete the conveyor belt that the resources are on and then replacing the conveyor belt. Doing this will put all the resources that are on the conveyor in your inventory. The MK1 miner is capable of mining up to 120 resources per minute and the upgrade to that the MK2 miner effectively doubles the output to 240 resources per minute and the speeds are dependent on the type of conveyor belt used. Automating steel pipes and steel beams requires the inputs of steel ingots into a constructor I will be using the steel ingots I made earlier in this video to provide the constructors with steel ingots. Lay down the constructors, then provide them with power. Then select the respective recipes for the steel pipes and steel beams and once all the devices are powered, you will have automated steel pipes and steel beams production. For a more detailed build, check out the video in the cards. In the next video, I will cover the automation of the remaining resources in tier 4. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more.